Hello, this is the Daily Forex Report for July 12th. We are looking at the U.S. Japanese yen pair first. This pair closed lower today, have moved pretty high, but did close lower. We are looking for it to continue overall moving sideways with a bias that is sideways. Look for it to potentially go as high as 89.60, possibly as low as 87.84. Look for some resistance around 89.15 and look for some support around 88.25. Now let's take a look at the Euro USD pair. This pair moved lower today. We are looking for this pair to continue moving sideways. Uh, look for it to potentially go as high as 127.14, possibly as low as 124.64. Look for some resistance around 126.50 and look for some support around 125.50. Now the pound US dollar pair moved lower, uh, didn't close below our trend line. Uh, it came close or right at it pretty much. Uh, I guess it did close a little bit below it depending on which trend line you look at and how far back you go. Uh, still looking for this pair to uh, continue moving sideways. Uh, I do anticipate it moving a little bit lower this next session and then get a reversal. Uh, let's take a look at where we're seeing this pair go as high as 151.63, possibly as low as 148.45. Look for some resistance around 15100 and look for some support around 149.50. Now the US Swiss, this this pair, there we go, moved higher today. It did gap, did retrace the gap, but did move higher, closed higher. Uh, so we are looking for this pair overall, though, to continue moving sideways. Look for it to potentially go as high as 10737, possibly as low as 10487. Look for some resistance around 10675, and look for some support around 10550. Now, as far as news announcements go, we have the uh, pound releasing the, the CPI for June at 4.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Consensus on that is that it has dropped from 3.4% down to 3.1%. Now, as far as what I'm looking at during this next session, if you look at the U.S.-Japanese yen pair, we have a pretty strong uh, movement to the downside, and we have moved to the upside just enough, basically, to get us uh, kind of overextended in that direction. I am looking for it to come back down. When it does, I'm looking for it to come down to this high uh, and basically breaking this low. So let me draw some a little bit better lines for you and have it come down to this area. If you notice here, we have some previous areas of support that are fairly close to it, some resistance as well, support. So if we get a break of the 88.31 level, look for a short and look for it to come on down to the 87.77 mark. So about a 60 pip move or so, but I do anticipate it uh, dropping fairly quick. We've gone through it once here and then once here pretty quick. Uh, and we found some uh, resistance here uh, along the way. So I do believe we'll at least make it down to that point. If it uh, comes down further, we could go a little bit further and uh, we have another couple areas of some pretty strong support as it moves further down. But as far as this next session, I do anticipate us seeing it go right through that area. Well, that about does it for today. Until next time, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.